Respiratory syncytial virus or RSV might sound unfamiliar, but it's actually one of the most common respiratory viruses out there. For many people, RSV causes mild cold-like symptoms and goes away in a week or two. However, for others, especially babies and older adults, it can be much more serious. It affects the lungs and breathing passages, and every year it leads to thousands of hospitalizations and even deaths. This virus tends to appear seasonally, with surges typically happening in the fall and winter months. Among infants under one year of age, RSV is one of the leading causes of bronchiolitis and pneumonia, making it a major concern for parents and caregivers. RSV spreads very easily mostly through respiratory droplets when someone coughs or sneezes, but it doesn't stop there. The virus can also survive on surfaces like doorknobs and toys, so touching those and then touching your face can lead to infection. After being exposed, it usually takes four to six days for symptoms to show up. These symptoms can include a runny nose, coughing, sneezing, wheezing, a fever, and a noticeable decrease in appetite. In places like daycare centers, nursing homes, or even busy households, RSV can spread quickly and affect a large number of people, especially those who are more vulnerable. RSV isn't just a local issue. In the United States alone, it causes between 58,000 and 80,000 hospitalizations every year in children under the age of five. Among adults age 60 and older, it contributes to another 100,000 to 150,000 hospitalizations annually. Around the world, RSV is responsible for roughly 3.6 million hospital admissions and over 100,000 deaths in children under the age of five. Beyond the toll on health, RSV brings an economic burden as well, from costly hospital stays to missed work days for caregivers and overburdened healthcare systems. Some people are more likely to experience severe RSV illness. Infants under six months old, especially those who were born prematurely, are at a higher risk of complications. Older adults, particularly those over 60, are also more vulnerable. People with chronic lung or heart disease and individuals with weakened immune systems may experience more serious symptoms. Children with certain conditions like neuromuscular disorders or congenital heart disease face added risks. And for adults, RSV can worsen existing conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or congestive heart failure. For decades, scientists worked to develop a safe and effective RSV vaccine. That moment finally arrived when the United States Food and Drug Administration approved two RSV vaccines. The first is a RexV, made by GlaxoSmithKline, and the second is a Brisvo, made by Pfizer. These approvals marked a historic milestone as they were the first ever vaccines cleared for RSV prevention. In the past, efforts to create a vaccine were slowed by early trials in the 1960s that caused serious side effects. But with modern science and technology, we now have safe options to protect those who need it most. So, Orexvi was the first RSV vaccine to be approved. It's actually designed to help protect older adults, especially those who are 60 and above, as well as folks between 50 and 59 who have health conditions that make them more susceptible to lung infections caused by RSV. RxV works by introducing a protein from the RSV virus in a way that, you know, trains the immune system to recognize and fight the virus. It also includes a special ingredient that boosts the body's immune response. In clinical trials, Orexvi was shown to reduce cases of RSV-related lower respiratory tract disease by over 80% and cut severe cases by more than 90%. The vaccine is given as a single injection and studies are underway to find out if booster doses will be needed in the future. Pfizer's vaccine, Abrisvo, actually takes a different approach. It helps protect infants by vaccinating pregnant people between 32 and 36 weeks of pregnancy. This timing allows protective antibodies to pass through the placenta to the baby, shielding the infant from RSV during the first few months of life, when they are most at risk. So, Abrisvo is also approved for older adults and for high-risk adults who are under 60. 
It actually uses a stabilized version of the RSV PREF protein, which helps the body develop immunity. Because of its potential to save lives and reduce hospitalizations, the FDA gave a Brisvo priority review and fast-track status. Like all vaccines, Arexv and Abrisvo went through, you know, extensive testing and large clinical trials. Most people experienced only mild side effects, like soreness at the injection site, feeling a bit fatigued, or maybe some mild body aches. These symptoms usually went away within a day or two. In rare cases, serious side effects like Guillain-Barre syndrome were reported. Even though these instances were extremely rare, the FDA included safety warnings and continues to monitor reports through a system called VAERS, which stands for Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. Pregnant individuals are encouraged to talk with their healthcare provider to figure out the best time to get the vaccine for optimal protection. RSV can cause serious complications, but now we have tools to fight back. Vaccination is one of the most powerful ways to reduce the spread of the virus, prevent severe illness, and avoid hospital stays. For babies who are not eligible for the vaccine, a medicine called nirsevimab, also known as Bayfortis, offers another layer of protection. It is a type of monoclonal antibody that can help prevent RSV infections in young infants. You know, combining vaccination with good hygiene, public health education, and ongoing disease surveillance really helps us stay ahead of RSV and limit its impact each season. Respiratory syncytial virus might not make headlines like the flu or COVID-19, but its impact is real and serious. Thanks to advances in medicine, we can now protect those who are most vulnerable. If you or someone you care about falls into a high-risk group, you should talk to a healthcare provider. Whether through vaccination, preventive treatments, or just staying informed, we all play a part in reducing the spread of RSV. With knowledge, science, and community action, we can breathe easier and help protect the most vulnerable among us.